Star Wars 7x7 episode 2027. Today, Rebuilding the Resistance is episode 17 from season 2 of Star Wars Resistance, and this is your Resistance Briefing. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. So here we are with, I guess, in a way it's the penultimate episode, but it's really kind of the penultimate weekend because next weekend is going to be a double episode. So yeah, not exactly, but anyway, this is the penultimate weekend. I'm going <sighs> to apparently try my luck in saying it so many times until I stumble over it. Penultimate. All right, now I have set the record straight. Anyway, we've got Rebuilding the Resistance, and this is a spoiler-filled Resistance briefing, so if you haven't checked out the episode yet, don't want it spoiled for you, well then save this podcast for a later date, but if you're okay with me digging into the details, then let's do it. So, Instead of Kaz being able to rendezvous with the Resistance, it turns out that the Resistance is going to rendezvous with the Colossus in the form of Jade Squadron, which is run by Venez... Oh, gosh. Why did I hesitate on that? Veniza Doza, yeah. <laughs> Tora Doza's mom, Emmanuel Doza's wife, who is working for the Resistance, and they only see each other from time to time while well, she has led a couple of pilots to rendezvous with the Colossus because something bad is happening on, of all places, Dantooine. Yes, indeed, Dantooine, where the remains of a rebel base had once been, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to keep... Darth Vader and Governor Tarkin from destroying Alderaan in front of Princess Leia. Man, oh man. Anyway, it turns out that there are resistance recruits on Dantooine who are trying to escape, but the First Order has taken control of the planet and blockaded the system. So the resistance is going to try to get them out, and that's going to involve Jade Squadron. And Emmanuel Doza is saying, I can spare three of my aces. Naturally, Kaz and Tora are listening into this conversation, so they immediately become volunteered. And Hype Faison is our third ace who is going to go along with Jade Squadron on this daring rescue mission. And this is another great thing about these last you know series of episodes of Star Wars Resistance. First of all, they've been getting you know more and more exciting, more taut with their energy and their plotting and pacing and whatnot. But something else that has gotten pretty awesome over the last few episodes is the dogfighting. There have been a lot of ship-to-ship -ship battles, and this episode is no exception. Now we have Tamra Vora being drawn into the conflict as the second-in-command of her particular TIE Fighter squadron. This is our first time going out as the second in command, and it turns out that it's going to be an eventful one because Lieutenant Gaelic is killed in combat by the Resistance, and ultimately Tam has to take charge of the squadron at you know, the end of this mission. But more importantly, for dramatic purposes, this is the second time now that Tam is going to face off against Kaz in Starfighter combat, and she gets him in her sights again, but it turns out that one of the other Resistance pilots from Jade Squadron, Hugh Sion, who is voiced by Sam Witwer, he of Darth Maul voicing fame, is able to disable Tam's ship, and so she's taken out of the fighting for all intents and purposes, which happens to be dramatically convenient as well, because then she's not responsible for the deaths of any of the Resistance folks, but... Someone is, and that would be none other than Jace Rucklin, who is voiced again by Elijah Wood. Jace is able to find an opening and shoot down one of the Resistance transports, which is a blow to everyone's system, including Tam's. But Agent Tierney seems to think that Tam's regret about the whole situation, the way the mission turned out, has to do with Lieutenant Gallic getting killed in action, and... Tierney says, yeah, I know it's sad, but it just creates more opportunities. And so guess what? You're the new squadron commander. How about that, Tamravor? That's pretty awesome. And she manages to yes-sir herself into some semblance of 
you know, not showing surprise and getting away with what she was really thinking. Meanwhile, Rucklin comes by and he is jealous as all get out and saying, like, I should be the squadron commander. I was the one who shot that shuttle down. Aren't you lucky, you know, you're getting everything you want and blah, blah, blah. Like Jace Rucklin is, and Elijah Wood is really doing a good job of playing this character as a dastardly ugh, guy you just want to smack around. But two of the three Resistance recruit shuttles are able to escape, and once they get back to the Colossus, Captain Doza tells his wife that they can stay as long as they want, and he is tired of running from this fight himself. So, you know, this is something where he didn't want to be involved, but understood that Veniza had to go off and fight, but now they are back together, and she is very glad that he has decided to join the fight. So... That is more or less where we leave things, except for one aspect that I haven't shared with you, which I will right after the break. Stay tuned. Hey Rebel Razor, I've made some changes to the Asteroid Belt level at patreon.com slash SW7X7 and they are all with sponsors in mind. So if you want to get the word out about your business, your product, your service to a dedicated Star Wars audience, then please check out patreon.com slash SW7X7 and look for the Asteroid Belt level for details. Again, that's patreon.com slash SW7X7. Welcome back. So, one thing I didn't mention is that earlier in the episode, Tam had raised the question about the shuttles being unarmed transports and that maybe they shouldn't be targets, but was kind of shouted down about that situation and had to go, oh, yes sir, and make it clear that she was willing to shoot down unarmed transport ships. But it does seem to be the straw that is breaking the camel's back because the next episode, the final episodes of Star Wars Resistance are going to involve the crew of the Colossus trying to rescue Tam from the First Order to get her away from their clutches. And there is a moment where Venisa Doza asks Yeager to step aside and says, hey, I saw Tam, and this is when she had been captured by the First Order a few episodes back, and says that she's going to come around, but that you have to give her time to do it. I mean, you know, in the middle of war, I don't know how you do that, but it is a cartoon after all. So I guess they're going to find a way, and we're going to find out how they find that way next week with the final episodes of Star Wars Resistance, and we will talk about those next week as well. But for now, that is going to do it for this week's look at Star Wars Resistance, this Resistance briefing for Rebuilding the Resistance. And that's going to do it for this show as well. Thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.